Hello, in this video we are going to show you how to manage gates in your LAMS lessons. Gates allow teachers to control the flow of students throughout a lesson. Gates are very useful to manage when we want students to start an activity or a section of the lesson, ensuring that students move in a specific schedule. So let's see how we manage gates for our lesson. Let's start at the sequence tab for this lesson's monitor. Looking at the learning design for this lesson, we can see that there are five stop gates. Note that each of them have an exclamation mark, which indicates that an action on our part is required. When we click on it, we'll be sent to the lesson tab where we will see a required tasks list. These tasks are actions that we perform as teachers for the lesson. The first gate on the list is called IRAT gate. This gate is a permission gate, which means that we need to take action to allow students to pass through the gate. And this is how we do it. We can open the gate to all students all at once or open the gate selectively, which gives us a very fine control of which students we want to allow to progress through the lesson. Let's take a look at the options we have to open this gate selectively. The first thing we can see is that the gate is closed and that there is already one student out of the 26 that we have in the lesson waiting for us to allow them to pass through the gate. You may open the gate for all students by clicking on the open button here. But before we do this, let's look at the selective options we have. On this column, we have the 26 students in our lesson. And to allow selective opening, we can select which students we want to allow through the gate and then click the Allow to Pass button. This moves the student to the Allowed to Pass column now. The middle column shows us the students that have already reached the gate activity and are waiting for us to let them through. You can also see the students that are in a gate in the Sequence tab by clicking on the user's icon. As you can see, Ada Walton is waiting to get through the gate. We can open the gate just for her by clicking on the Allow to Pass button. Now Ada is through the gate to the next activity. While open gate selectively is useful, it's very likely that we might only need to open the gate for all students at once. And for this, we can use the Open button Alternatively, to achieve the same result, we can just click on the Open Now button in the Lessons tab. Once we click it, the gate is open for all students. Once the gate is open, you will see that the exclamation mark for the gate is gone, showing that no required task is needed anymore for this gate. And that's it. 